So in this video, then we're going to start looking at how we can draw a swimming pool. Um, so we're going to do quite a basic one, um, similar to this, but we won't have all the stuff around the outside. All the bits around the outside here are for when we, we put things into rendering software like Enscape. Uh, so if we look at this one in uh, Enscape and see what it looks like, you can see that it actually looks um, quite realistic. Um, we can actually go for a bit of a, a swim ourselves if we want. Um, the water looks really good, I think, in uh, Enscape. Um, when you're underneath, it's very clear, obviously. We've got some lighting in here, so you can see all the lighting. Um, we won't bother with that in uh, our, our video, this one, because it only really works in Enscape or another uh, rendering software that's similar to that. Um, so this is what we're going to be trying to create. You'll also be looking a bit more similar to this rather than uh, all rendered up. And so let's get started. So uh, to start off with, I've already set up my level. So I've got uh, level one, which is going to be the top of the swimming pool. Level zero is going to be the underside, the bottom of the floor. And I've set it at two meters, how deep I want the swimming pool to be. Uh, so if we go into level uh, zero, and we're going to start drawing the walls. So if we go into wall, and we're going to pick out just a basic uh, internal block work wall, this one here. But we're actually going to change uh, the parameters. So we're going to duplicate it. I'm going to call this pool wall. And in the structure, this finish, this plaster, I'm going to change this to uh, tile. And we're going to choose the uh, tile porcelain 6 inch. That's what I'm going to use, but you can have a look through and see what you like. I'm also going to do this outside wall as well. Although you wouldn't, although you wouldn't do the outside, the reason I'm doing that is because sometimes the walls don't go which way around you want them to go. Uh, so because we had it in there once, we can just choose that again. So I've got that on both sides of mine, even though we'll only ever see one side of it. It just makes it easier when we come to draw. Uh, so that and that, and then we can start drawing. So um, I like to use something a bit different. You can just use a rectangle. Uh, I'm going to use the start end radius arc, and I'm going to come across about so big. Uh, if you're going to use this, don't do a semicircle. Just go ever so slightly over a semicircle. Uh, and that allows it all to connect up a bit easier when we come down to this one here. So you can see it's a bit smoother, like so. Uh, we'll come back to here somewhere. And again, just a bit more than a semicircle. And then getting close to that one. So it clicks up. And away we go. So that's how you want yours to look. You can take a bit more time getting it absolutely spot on if you want. Uh, go into our 3D view. And if we change it to realistic, we should be able to see the tiles on the inside and the outside of there. There you can see the tiles. So once we've done that, uh, we can now start looking at the floor. So I'm going to go up to level one and draw the floor, which is a bit at the top here. So if we go into floor, and I'm just going to choose this concrete floor. But again, I'm going to edit type and duplicate. And I'm going to call this one the floor pool floor because that's going to be inside the pool itself and for this one i'm actually going to insert um and send it up to the top another uh layer and call this one finish and for this one again i'm going to go tile uh, but for this one i like to use a ceiling tile 600 by 600. now obviously you would never use a 600 by 600 ceiling tile on a, on a pool floor um but it looks better in this uh, rendered um, appearance on in revit so click OK, and then I'm just going to do a large rectangle around the outside, something like that. And whilst we're here, we can also uh, 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 do the cutout for the pool as well. So for this, I'm actually going to use pick lines, and I'm going to have an offset. And my offset's not going to be very large. It's going to be about, I'll call it 10 millimeters. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom right in, and I want the offset to be ever so slightly inside here. So not on the out, not inside the pool, but actually between the two lines. So you can see the little pink line is now going to end up inside our wall. And it's important you do that on all of them, and that they all go the same way, like so, like so, and then like so. And I've done that just to make the join at the top uh, a bit neater. And if we just uh, unjoin that, that's fine. Uh, so when we go into our three D view. Um, you can see we've got this slight issue. You can see it's all blending in. The wall, the top of the wall is blending into the top of our, our um, floor there. So with the, if we hover over a wall, use the tab key to select all of them. And then we've got our top offset. If we make that a minus, um, a minus yeah, about a minus 10. Then we'll 
default. Minus 10, something like that. It down, it disappears there. Uh, it makes, just makes the, that, that corner a bit nicer. Um, and, and you can also see we've done it here as well. So we've now got no concrete blending through here, which is obviously the wall back earlier. Once we've done that, go to level zero, and we're going to put the, the bottom of the pool uh, floor in there. And to do that, again, we're going to the floor. Uh, we can use this one if we want to, but unless you're going to, yeah, we we'll use that one. Edit type, duplicate, and we'll call this all floor and into structure. And again, rather than ceiling tile, I'm going to use that ceramic tile, that uh, six inch. I'm going to tile. Just put it in there. And porcelain six inch tile. We use that because that's the same as the walls. Click OK. Click OK. I'm just going to use the pick walls and then around we go. Like so. And again, we go back to our 3D. We've now got uh, everything how we want it to be. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's all looking good. I'm not quite sure what's happened to this. Uh, let's go back into edit type. So patio floor. Ceiling tile tree. Yep, should be okay. Okay, okay. There we go, that's back. Uh, so We've now got it, uh, the form done or the structure done, if you like. Now you need to fill it up with water. So to do that, we're actually going to create an extrusion and we're going to model that in place. So if we go into architecture and component, um, this is, might be something you've never done before. And we're actually going to model in place rather than place a component. We're going to model in place. And I'm just going to call this a generic uh, model. So we're just going to generic model. I'm just call it generic model one. Don't think you need to see that. And what I'm going to do in the top left hand corner, we've got this extrusion, and we're going to create an extrusion. And just to make sure the work plane set uh, on level zero, which it is, so we just need to make sure that's in there. Click OK, and I can now start picking some lines. So I'm going to actually pick these lines. Now, when you're picking these lines, sometimes it's better to go into level zero because you can pick the wrong one, especially with the tile here. So uh, really, we want to be uh, if we're going to be creating the water, what's on the inside here? I want it to be blending into the tile. Sometimes when you're in 3D, you can pick up this inside line, which you don't want to do. Uh, so the outside line there. And the outside line, just make sure it's the outside one, which it is. Yep. You can go back in 3D, click the green tick. And then before we click out of anywhere, we're just going to grab this extrusion button. I'm actually going to drag it up. I like to bring it up to about there somewhere. Uh, we do need to change the material. Uh, we do this over here in the properties box, and for that we're going to want water. Uh, it will throw up two different types of water. Um, if you're going to be using Enscape, which is a rendering software, use the top one because it's better, and you probably recognize these uh, ripples in the water in the rendering that we saw earlier. Uh, for just using Revit rendering, just use this standard water one here. So click that one into there. And you can play around with two, and you'll see which is the reason why I chose that one. Uh, so it sends it a little bit more that kind of blue color. And that is how you do uh, your swimming pool, really. Um, so uh, there are other ways you can do it as well, um, but that's primarily the main way you do it, setting up a level and dropping it down. Um, so now you can start adding all the bits of furniture, walls around the outside, uh, and anything else you want to do. Uh, don't forget to do the green tick to finish the model in place. And then you can start carrying on and uh, generating other bits and pieces with it.